Mechanical Mastery is a technical mod pack for Minecraft where you start on a small island with just a few resources. Then using the various mods of the pack, you progress through an advanced tech tree and quest line until you have enough automation going to be able to craft the final star. One of the main mods used for this journey is Project E. This mod allows you to burn resources for EMC, then use that EMC to request other resources. Now, while this mod pack does mostly focus on automation and machines more than building a base, I still like to build. So the first challenge of the mod pack for me was coming up with a decent looking build with the limited materials that you're given at the start. This is the build that I came up with and I'm gonna teach you how to build it yourself. Here's a full checklist of materials. Feel free to pause the video here to read through exactly what you need. So in raw materials, this is gonna convert to 285 dirt, 223 leaves, and 220 logs. Then we're also gonna need nine clay balls and five raw iron. So all that is gonna cost a total of around 8,749 EMC. So starting off in a fresh world, obviously the first thing that we're gonna need to do is punch down this tree. So if we push the tilde or the grave key, which is just below escape, we can chop down that tree in just one good punch. And that gives us this chest down here, which will give us access to the transmutation table. So if we feed our saplings and our logs into the transmutation table, that's gonna give us access to those later. Next, we're gonna wanna make a just a wooden pickaxe so we can mine some cobblestone, because we will need a little bit of stone in order to make a furnace, uh, just so we can have some iron later on down the road for some of the uh, different tools that we're gonna need. Next, we are going to take some of these logs and make just a single stair out of it. And the reason that we're doing this is so we can get some cobblestone made up. Um, we should only need the one cobblestone ahead of time. And then afterwards, we can put that into the transmutation table and have unlimited provided that we have enough EMC to cover it. So this right here is probably going to be the easiest cobblestone generator that you're going to be able to make uh, early game anyways. And really, it's all, the only thing that you're going to need because you're just going to need the one cobblestone for now anyways to, to feed it into the transmutation table. So we're going to waterlog this stair and then we're going to throw some lava down here. That's going to create the cobblestone right here. And if we're good, eh, we're going to burn, <laughs> burn our first stone. OK, let's try to catch this one. No. There we go. So with our stone acquired, we can pick up our water and our lava and save it for a different day. So now that we have access to stone through the transmutation table here, the next thing that we're gonna need to do is expand on our platform. Now we could just use dirt and make the whole platform just dirt and grass, but that's a little boring. We want some variety in there. So to accomplish that variety, we're gonna use a crafting table from Chipped, which is called the Mason's Workbench. Now for this, we are gonna need some clay and some iron. And to get that, we're actually gonna to turn to our quest book. If we come to the tier one quest line, once we have cobblestone, which we, it didn't register that we had it apparently. Um, let's try this again. Ah, uh, no, we need, to, we need to start with the welcome task. So we're going to just click on that. That'll give us access to all this stuff. We're going to keep this as more of a backup than anything, uh, just in case we run out of saplings or, you know, what have you. Uh, we use our last water bucket or whatever. And then from there, we can go and claim this wood task and get some more saplings. And then we get clay for free. We get some extra cobblestone and we can get our raw iron for free as well. And here's our workbench. So using this workbench, we can now, if we grab just a little bit of dirt, we can learn that in the transmutation table as well and just pull it out for one EMC a piece. Um, so thankfully we've got like over 5,000 EMC at the moment. So that is gonna give us a fine start to, to get this going. Another thing that we're gonna to wanna to get crafted up before we get this platform expanded is a trowel from Quark. Now, if you've never seen this tool before, it is super handy. Essentially what this is gonna do is it will randomly place a block from your hotbar 
down for you when you when you use it. So it, we have planks and stairs in our hot bar right now. Planks, stairs. Um, so just one tool can randomly place blocks for you, and it's a very great way to get good textures for your build. And that's how I made the platform for this this build here. So in total for this platform, we are going to need about four and a half stacks of dirt. So hopefully we have enough EMC to where we could just grab that out right now. Perfect. It looks like we have plenty. And then essentially what we're going to do, we're going to take a half stack and we're going to make a half stack rough dirt. Then we're going to make another half stack cobbled dirt. We'll make a half stack rocky dirt. We'll make a half stack trodden dirt. And we'll make a half stack weathered dirt. And then the rest, we'll keep three half stacks of just the regular dirt and we'll spread them out in the hot bar. So this is gonna give us a three and eight chance to get just normal dirt and a one and eight chance to get any of the other various dirt blocks here. And I'm just gonna start placing. We could replace all this, this grass up top with just some dirt, uh, but we, we do wanna keep some grass on the island just in case we decide to use it later if we wanna get a passive mob farm going or what have you. You're gonna need grass to be able to spawn those. So I, I think we're just gonna kinda build off from here and we're gonna make a 17 by 17 platform. So now that we've got our platform made, it's gonna be a little easier to gather some EMC as we don't have to worry about the saplings and logs falling off the edge of the platform as we're collecting them. Um, so the, the total EMC I showed earlier of the 8,749, that was including the EMC needed for this dirt. So we're actually gonna need roughly 300 less than that. Um, but I, I want to have a little extra, so I'm probably going to shoot to gather around 9,000, which shouldn't take too long. It's only another 5,000 more than what we have now, not even. Right, so the best way that we're going to be able to gather up EMC as of right now is going to be by growing these trees. So if we just kind of slap down some saplings two blocks away from us like that, then we can shift, grow the trees, and chop them all down in one fell swoop. One thing we'll need to keep in mind as well is that we are going to need these leaves for the roof of our gazebo here. Um, so while you are collecting the logs for EMC, it's also not a bad idea to get some shears made up so you can collect some leaves from the trees as well. So you're going to need a total of about four stacks of leaves for the roof of this. That'll give us a little extra. Um, so. It's not going to take too much, especially with the vein mine, to be able to, to collect all those. And we've got plenty of saplings, so we don't have to worry about kind of taking away from our sapling supply either. So with the necessary EMC and leaves gathered for this project, I think we're ready to start building. So we're going to start off right in the center of one of the edges here, and we are going to go in one block and just kind of outline a circle that is 15 blocks across. Now, if you're unfamiliar, this site, plots.co.uk, I'll have it linked in the description, but this is a super handy tool for creating various shapes in Minecraft and having it kind of laid out for you. So since we're going with just a circle, I'd select ellipse, and then we want 15 by 15, and then this is the circle that we're making. So it makes it really easy to follow along and, and create various shapes. You can even make it as, as wide or as, as narrow as you wanted. Um, so I, I highly recommend this tool. I use it all the time for my Minecraft builds. All right, with our circle outline, this is gonna be more or less the footprint of the build, but we're not gonna keep this in place. These are just guidelines here. 
So we're gonna grab a stack of logs, which probably will be enough, but we'll we'll see. It may we may need to grab some more. Who knows? Um, we're just gonna pop out the corners of the the long flat parts on the edges and replace them with a log. Um, so these logs are gonna come straight up, like so. And then we can actually get rid of these blocks in between as they were just marker blocks so we can keep track of where our circle is. Then we're gonna do the same thing on these single blocks on the corners as well and just kind of pop those out, replace them with logs. So we're just gonna repeat this on all the sides, just replacing out these marker blocks with the logs that we actually want to use. Now, if you did wanna add some more variety to the logs that we're placing down here, there is this carpenter's workbench as well. Uh, I couldn't really find any oak log variants that I really loved to throw in this thing. So I kept it with just the standard oak logs for now. Um, but we will need this carpenter's workbench later on for some of the trap doors that we're going to need. So it doesn't hurt to build it now anyways. So with our logs in place and our starter blocks removed, it's time to start adding the stairs. So we're going to need a total of 68 stairs. So a stack plus four. Um, once you have those, we're going to go in between our logs on the kind of the, the far sides and we're just going to place down three stairs across the way. Then we're going to come behind the stairs and we're going to build up one more level, not like that. So we're going to have two sets of stairs on each of these far walls. You could go all the way across with this upside down stair in the back, but just to save some materials, seeing as how it's not really going to be seen, I don't find it super necessary. Now, once you have those stairs in, we're not quite done with the stairs. You can see we still have 40 left. So we're going to come on the sides here and then we're going to place an upside down stair on the second block up here and then kind of come behind it. So it curves around like that. And then we're going to do something like this on all of the edges. So it's going to start here as well. Kind of, oh. Upside down, and then kind of curve it around. Now you want to make sure that you're actually getting the the curved stairs on the edges. Otherwise, it, it just doesn't quite have the detail. And you want to make sure that you have that consistency on a build like this. So with your stairs in place like that, you're gonna get a nice border around the outside of this build. And this is gonna kinda give you an outline of where we're gonna put our floor in. Now for the floor, we could just go consistency and do just oak planks across the whole thing. Um, but I, I like adding some variation in texture as we, we mentioned earlier with the, the platform here. So I'm gonna come back to this carpenter's workbench and I'm going to make up some fine oak planks. So I'm gonna grab up a half stack of fine oak planks and a half stack of the polished oak planks and then use just uh, the regular oak planks in there as well. Actually on second thought, let's do a stack of each just cause I, I want the fine oak planks and the war, or the polished oak planks, I want those to be more prevalent in the build. So what we're gonna do to accomplish that is the same thing we did earlier and just spread out and have more options on the hot bar. And we're gonna use our trowel to just go around and kind of fill in this outline that we made.
So that's gonna give us this nicely textured floor here, and I, I'm a fan of this. And if you feel like you've made too many of these chipped plank variations, that's okay. You can always just throw it back in the workbench and turn it back into regular oak planks and then use them as, as you would regular oak planks. Speaking of which, we're gonna use those oak planks now and make up a good amount of fences. And then these fences are basically just gonna go over those upside down stairs that we added earlier. So now we're gonna wanna grab another stack or so of logs and uh, from what we have here, we're gonna wanna build up three more blocks on top of each of these logs. Next, we're gonna need about two stacks of trap doors and a stack of fences. And we're gonna take our trap doors right in the carpenter's workbench here, and we're gonna make one stack these trap door three. And the other stack, we're gonna make trap door five. We'll start by taking trap door three and going on top of these fence posts that we added earlier. I don't believe it really makes a huge difference what orientation you put it in. Um, so mix it up, throw them this way and that way. And I mean, either way, it looks like they're, they're pretty much going the same direction as far as the, the texture goes. And then the trap door five is gonna go around the log here just to give it a little extra texture and uh, just a kind of a bump out. So with our fence posts, we're not gonna come directly on top of these fence posts that we have here. We're actually just gonna come one block off of the logs next to the stairs and then come over and meet up with the logs in the corner. Like so. And we can also take these trap doors that we have here. Now this is gonna be a little trickier because the possibly should have been something that we did ahead of time before we put the floor in, but we can also just use the kind of trap door trick with our extras. And then we're gonna come down here and just kind of put, kind of make it look more like lattice work, more or less um, underneath the gazebo here. I'm just going to put trap doors to fill that gap and make it look a little nicer. So that's going to eliminate that gap down there um, while still allowing you to see underneath the gazebo, uh, but giving some extra texture to that uh, gap at the same time. Next, make your way to the top of the gazebo. We're going to put down some more fence posts. We're going to come up from the fence post attached to the log here and then just come over like so until you meet in the middle. So these fence posts here are essentially what's gonna be the support for the, the leaf canopy for the roof. So we're gonna kind of build out from the middle here just to give us some, some support to work off of. And then just gonna kind of come in from each of these and kind of build up as we go just to give it kind of a, a peaked roof look. And at the same time, meeting in the middle. There, so once you've created a peak with your fence post, that's where the leaves are gonna come in. Um, but again, we, we could just go straight oak leaves for this, um, but we, we do like our variation. So what we're gonna do in this case is grab up some clay balls Nine should do it. So smelting these balls down is gonna give us enough bricks to be able to make three flower pots. 
And with those three flower pots, we should be able to make the botanist workbench. It's gonna allow us to insert our leaves into it and come back with a half stack of azalea leaves and probably a half stack of these flowering oak leaves. And we'll just kind of sprinkle those in throughout the build here. And maybe some apple oak leaves as well, just, just for the fun of it. Um, with that, it is time that we make like a tree and leaf. Uh, so we're just going to kind of go around all of the fence posts at first, as well as the logs here, just to give us a nice outline with the leaves. I don't think I want that one there. Now, don't be afraid of making mistakes here. We're using leaves, and it's kind of a, a more natural roof covering, and you're not going to see perfect symmetry at all if you're using leaves as a canopy like this. Um, so don't be afraid to kind of throw in some extras a little lower. But we're essentially just connecting the dots. We're, we're going around and covering all of the, the top layer here, and then we will kind of work our way on the inside and just kind of cover all these fence posts and give us a nice leafed canopy. And with that, we're pretty much done. Uh, we can come around and just kind of touch up some of the leaves. Uh, it'll be easier once we have access to like scaffolding or, or like flight or something along those lines. Um, but just jumping and kind of placing random leaves would be good enough for now. Um, come right around the logs and just kind of add some, some dripping leaves. Cause like I said, it, it doesn't have to be perfect by any stretch. Uh, like I said, we, we could definitely touch up some of the leaves a little more, add some some variation and some randomness to it, but I'm super pleased with how this build turned out. One thing that I do like doing with something like this is if you come in with a crafting station, then you could put some any kind of chest. I like the iron chests. They're cheap-ish to build at the beginning. And you can kind of just throw those down right here and have access to the inventories right from this crafting station. It makes for early game inventory, makes it a lot easier to, to kind of manage there. And then as you go, you can add in machines around the side. Now here we are in my current playthrough of this pack. Um, you can see I've, I've added some machines with crafters around the edge, and that actually allows us to take advantage of the underneath section here as kind of a, a just spot for cables and such. It makes it look just a, a little neater, a little nicer. Oh, hey, um, we also, we forgot to add these trap doors around the edge. I thought I was forgetting something, but that's definitely an option that you can do as well, just to add that little extra texture and thickness to that section of the logs. Now, while I did build this in the Mechanical Mastery mod pack, it's certainly not limited to that. Really, the only mod that you need to be able to make this exact build is the chipped mod, um, and that gives you access to these trap doors as well as like the, the leaves and the, the extra planks that we used. But that's it. So any mod pack that uses that mod, you could create this build yourself, or I'll also include a, a download to a schematic. I'll probably drop that in my Discord. So if you're not a member of my Discord, maybe I'll leave a link to that in the description down below. So check that out. Join the Discord. If you did like this tutorial and want to see more tutorials from me, go ahead and leave a like and a comment down below. And as always, stay jolly.